We're, we've always moved the desktop forward, so Workstation, we're doing a lot of different awesome things with multiple snapshots and all kinds of things. Um, and then we did Ace, which is a desktop product, secure desktop, um, that's totally desktop based. And then a few years ago, uh, customers started realizing they could actually host a desktop in ESX server, right? Because it's just a virtual machine. It could run in either place. And they liked it because it was a way to have remote workers um, hosted and centrally managed on the server securely. Okay, so um, there were some people that did it for call centers in India and, and that sort of thing. And then more recently, um, it's just suddenly really caught everybody's attention in the industry because of the advantages of centralizing uh, the management and making it secure and um, you know just controlling people's desktop environments but still giving them a completely full desktop that runs every application you would ever want to run on a desktop and so then now there's a whole ecosystem building up around it so we launched the virtual desktop initiative it's got a lot of partners and there's a lot of people out there building interesting thing clients and you know connectors and all kinds of um, complementary technologies to make a full solution around the desktop uh, coupled with you know amazing customer interest I mean there's 450 million enterprise desktops out there and right. people are really looking to um, you know they're rethinking it's very um, expensive and and uh, you know sort of exposes them a little bit having all these distributed desktops and some BDI, do, do you think now VMware is competing with those with Citrix, with a more centralized um, terminal server base. Solution. Yeah, I think we're complementary to Citrix. There's places where they're better. There's places where we're better, and um, and we actually partner quite well with Citrix with Mac as well. Client yeah. The Mac yeah, yeah, we got that uh, out. Fusion, yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's uh, the beta is out. Yeah, the beta is out. Yeah. So, uh, was there a lot of customer demand for this? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, the interest in that has been off the charts. Yes. <laughs> the people have been asking us ever since um, Apple announced they were moving to Intel to give them this product. Um, we wanted to do it in a way that worked for Apple. We didn't want to just do some things they didn't want us to do. Um, maybe that was a mistake because it delayed when we came out with it. But um, yeah, I mean, unbelievable amount of people uh, were just sending email. I got emails constantly when are you gonna have a, from you know people I didn't know when are you gonna have a Mac product. And then once we said we were and let people register, I forget how many, you know, many tens, hundred thousand, you know, people registered for this thing. And uh, I don't know where what the beta download count is. Well, we've had an amazing number of enterprise customers come to us wanting to now we can run the Mac in our enterprise because we can run Windows and you know the Mac. On a Mac. On a Mac, yes. yeah. Yeah. So, so, so business-wise, it makes sense to have a. Well, we like it for the consumers too. I mean, we have our player out there and a uh -huh. ton of consumers. So, we just, you know, we have an ability to do a very nice. You know, we have a lot of expertise, a lot of um, product around desktop virtualization. So it was a natural thing for us to do it for the Mac. We're thrilled to have it used by consumers. We were not. You know, dogmatic that our products can only be used. Explain to us how how are the, the sort of the revenue stream today. Uh, the player is free. Yes. The server is. Uh, we have VMware Server, which is free. Yes. But you you can buy support from it. So okay. we we you know if someone wants it supported in their enterprise, they pay us, and then VMware Infrastructure is a licensed product. Yeah. yeah, why don't we just yeah. take this product that was bringing millions of dollars yeah. and say, okay, no it's more, it's free. Yeah. Well, um, this is software, and so you have this incredible uh, ability in software to make multiple copies without it costing you anything. There's no cost to manufacture. Okay, these products um, have been, um, you know, we're still moving them forward to take advantage of new, you know, 64-bit and what have you, but most of the work on those products have been done. They enable people to experience virtualization. Um, we have enough momentum with um, the products that we charge for with Workstation, with VI3, um, that we could do this, and um, and it and so 
people can experience the quality of virtualization that VMware offers. Um, it accelerates the building of virtual appliances, which is something we're very excited about, and and it, and it sort of is a nice way through the internet to get our products out there and 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 really uh, bring virtualization to everybody. So. Um, and then we see interesting things to be done as we go forward around virtual appliances and the player. So we'll see where it goes, but it was something that we could do and, it, and we've had a lot of fun with it. It's been just incredibly exciting to see, you know, the millions of downloads in, you know, a few months of these things. Open source? That's... Uh we do have open source. It's VMware open source. It's not GB, GPL open source, but basically people can come in and sign a partnering agreement with us and get full access. We have it hosted, get our source code, they can play with it, they can modify it, um, they can work with us to get whatever changes they put in out into the industry, um, into our releases. And we've got some 30 to 40 companies in that program uh, and hundreds of developers now working on it and, and the fruits of the first work like InfiniBand support are going to be coming out in the next year. So, so, so that's been really effective, I think. So they have access Hardware to the code. Right. They have access to the code. They yes. can modify it. Yes. And and then and then work with us to get it out into a release. You know, when they have a project they're going to do, we discuss. Okay, here's the vehicle to to release. It's it. a little bit of a myth that our that that, that VMware yeah. is too expensive. I I mean, VI three is is a lot more than a hypervisor, right? VI three is virtual center. And all this, you know, full VI3, high availability, dis distributed resource scheduling, virtual machine file, you know, uh, 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 file system, you know, consolidated backup. It's 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 a bunch of system infrastructure services, solutions, uh, monitoring, deployment, uh, provisioning, um, all with, you know, a very very reliable functional. Uh, virtualization platform hypervisor and source are mm -hmm. coming and saying, well, now we're we're having the same uh, same support. We support Windows, Linux mm -hmm. as as VMware, mm -hmm. and for a fraction of the price. Mm -hmm. So, do you see that? Uh, well, well, I mean, do they have the functionality of VMware? Do they have the reliability of VMware? Do they have the certification of VMware? And and do they have a business sustainable business model? And and our, you know our customers are getting you know sixty to ninety percent ROI within six months of deploying our products. You know they're just getting unbelievable savings and and more power in their data center through deploying our products. So, so Zen Source is pushing Zen. Well, you know certainly they're not a viable competitor today. Um, you know, but they're certainly you know going to have an offering around virtualization um, you know it's basically as near as I can tell going to be pretty close to what we started shipping about six years ago but um, and then uh, Microsoft's definitely coming I'm not sure you want to integrate it with the operating system. I think one of the huge strengths of virtualization is the operating system can now move into the application stack and you can have a full virtual infrastructure that's independent of the operating systems. So um, it's sort of a funny model. It's not a real full endorsement of virtualization and the, and the customers are going to have a hard time getting the full value. Where are we now in, in terms of standards in the virtualization space? In well, there's progress in the DMTF group around the management of, of um, virtual machines. Uh, there's progress in the spec group around benchmarks of virtual machine, benchmarking virtual machines. Um, the virtual machine file format, we've put ours out there. Microsoft's, you know, putting something out there that's going to require, you know, they're going to be able to control. So, so that, we hope, you know, gets panned out. And then there's interfaces we're working with the open source community and with Sun on Solaris x86 around the interfaces between the operating system and the hypervisor. All of OS has changed. It's been split. And so now you have the virtualization that manages the hardware and sits on the bare metal. And then you have an OS that provides the interfaces to the application and, and kind of gets subsumed into the application stack. So is that the OS? and this is the hypervisor, or are they both an OS doing different things? I don't think so. 
I think one's a hypervisor and one's an OS. But the OS now has had a changed role in that it no longer needs to manage the hardware.